Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the setup that I use for gaming slash work. Alright, let's first talk about the thing that's holding everything together and that's that table itself. This is a height adjustable table from True Vision. This is their top of the line, I think. And the table is 70 by 120 centimeters. This can go for as low as 62 centimeters, which is really low. And it can go up to 128 centimeters, which is actually really high. It's, I think it's around my, sh my shoulder. Um, this is programmable as well. You can have up to three programmable heights. So it's up to you what you're going to program that. But what I did was the first one was the lowest, which I use for video shooting. And the second one would be my sitting position. And the third one would be my my height, my standing position, which is this. This is 100 centimeters. Before we go to what's above the table, I actually have a few things I want to mention that's underneath this table. And I think it's really important as well because if you're interested in the setup that I'm making, these are some of the the small features that I added just to make them as is. So first thing you would notice in the bottom is I have two headphones here. So this is the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. These are basically the headphones I use for editing videos, listening to music, anything that requires accurate sound. This is what I use. This is wired by the way. The other headphone that I have here is the HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. So I mainly use this for gaming and also when I'm using or when I'm on a meeting, this is what I use. Just because it's really convenient because it's wireless and it has a mic built into it. And also it's really good for gaming as well. So there's that. It has up to, I think, 30 hours of battery life. All right, the other one that I have here is a 3-in-1 cable. So you have your USB Type-C, Lightning, and Micro USB to Type-A. Um, this is mainly used for charging. It's really helpful because as much as I want to have everything USB Type-C, that's not possible. So you really need this. It's basically just your all-in-one USB for charging any accessories that you might have. And the thing that's holding those two headphones on the bottom is a an aluminum headphone hanger. This is very basic it's really cheap around 150 200 pesos it's really basic it's just the thing i like about this is it's designed to be put under the desk which is much cleaner than having a desktop uh, headphone hanger or headphone um, whatever you call that last but not the least is the cable management tray i have at the bottom i don't know if you can see it but as you can see here i only have one cable going down that's mainly to power everything on top of the table but i have the cable management from true vision as well i'll take a shot of that on a separate separate take but basically if you're gonna get this table i highly recommend you get the cable management tray as well so if you assemble it you put it before you finish assembling this which will be much easier rather than rather than having to disassemble the tabletop again just to put the tray um, on the bottom and it's just really a hassle to do that I'm just going to start with the small ones first and then we go to the big ones. So first off, I really recommend this. This is a Xiaomi e-ink clock. So basically it just tells you the time, the big ones, and then there's a humidity and the temperature on the bottom. I wish they had this with dates on them, but there's, there's not a version with a date. So yeah, but still helpful. I'm also... Uh, planning to get at least two more to put it outside because this thing was this thing just goes for around 500 700 pesos and it has a very basic battery in it the button type I, I forgot what it's called it's a 32 something but this has been working for two years now almost two years now i haven't changed the battery yet because it's really efficient and it's really convenient to look at it's really clean as well it's on the table i don't know if you've noticed but but earlier this was lit and now it's not i think the battery just died on me but I've been using this for two years now. This is a Yeelight chargeable candle. It basically, it has a really warm light that looks really pleasant to the eye. So that's why I have this. It's also a really good night light, which was the main reason I got this. And yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's basically a night light with a very warm light. So you'll notice I also have two mouse. These are both from Logitech. I mainly use the Logitech MX Master most of the time because this is a workhorse mouse it has two scroll wheels if you use excel a lot or ed uh, edit videos a lot this is really helpful and the main reason would be first the ergonomics and two is the scroll wheel and the feel the overall feel this is it's basically it this is one of the best mouse you can get 
and I know it's expensive for some I think it's around 4,000 5,000 pesos but you're gonna be using this for a couple of years and you're gonna be using it for work so you might as well have the best ergonomic experience that you can have and it speeds up your work so it basically pays for itself over time the one thing that does not pay for itself over time is this gaming mouse because i'm not a professional gamer so this is a logitech g pro super light and this is basically like the name implies it's a gaming mouse that's super light it's wireless as well it's around only under 63 grams which is really light actually if you get this they deliver you the box the first impression you will have is the box is empty just because this is super light it's literally super light so the keyboard that i have here is the keychron k6 as you can see this is not the standard k6 you would you would see online because this is totally custom so the frame was painted by me um, i was actually planning to do a video on when i was doing the customization of this but I just didn't want to risk the paint going to the camera lens because I don't know how to fix that. So yeah, I ended up finishing it without taking a video and this is the final product. It was actually harder than I thought. Uh, the paint process took me around uh, five days to finish. So the keycaps is a Domi Key 1980S. Not sure about that name, but I really like the beige color. I'm, I know it doesn't fit with the whole build. I'm planning to do another keyboard that fits this whole build all white. But I just really like the aesthetics of old school for a keyboard. I don't know why. The switch I have here is a Kaiwa box navy blue. I wouldn't really recommend them to people working at an office because it's really loud as you can see here. Not sure if the mic can pick it up, but this is a sample typing test. This is a bit more louder and more tactile than your standard um, blue switches. And it's also 90 grams actuation. So the first time I got this, the first two weeks was really an adjustment period for me because it was just so heavy for your fingers. Let's go to the laptop here. This is still the laptop that I have for, I have this laptop now for three years. I got this May 2019. This is the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 15. This has an i7 8550 and a GTX 1050 Max-Q um, GPU. I mainly use this for writing scripts because um, I don't want to turn on the computer when I'm just writing scripts because it, this thing consumes a bunch, uh, much more power than just a laptop and I don't need that much power when I'm just writing scripts. So the main computer that I have is, this is the one that I use for gaming and editing. And this case is an NR200P from, or NR200 because the P version has a tempered glass on the side, but this does not. So this is just the NR200. And it has a Ryzen 7 3700X and a RTX 3070 Ti. I'm actually considering selling this now just because when I'm editing videos just like this 4K, for some reason it can't handle 4K H265. It's, it's always on max or 100% CPU, so I'm considering getting a max specifically for editing videos. But for now, this will do and I just only open this when I'm editing or when I'm playing games. Maybe tonight because it's Friday and Friday is Valorant Day, so <laughs> we're going to be playing tonight. So you probably noticed by now that the monitor that I'm using is not the Xiaomi ultra-wide monitor anymore. I've been using that monitor for more than a year and it was really good it was a really good monitor for what it did but i really needed something that's that's 4k accurate and also that's gaming really good so this is the monitor for that this is the ib spectrum 4k i really don't recommend this monitor for gamers specifically because it's just not worth the price it's around forty-five thousand pesos not including the stand the stand is five thousand pesos so it's not really for gamers um, if you want 4k gaming there are other monitors that you can get under 30k or just over 30k from aoc or asus or tough this is not for that but if you're a gamer slash um, video editor graphic designer this is the monitor you should get this is really accurate uh, this can go up to 750 nits really bright i don't know if you've noticed but i have this laptop connected right now to the monitor and it's charging my laptop right now and it and with that same cable it can also output uh, display so you only have this one cable and it just gives a really clean look not just that uh, this monitor has a usb hub behind 
If you're gonna be using this monitor to a compatible laptop, you only have to use one cable for charging, for display out, and for USB hub. So there are hubs behind this monitor that you can use and you can direct, directly access with your um, laptop. That said, this is also one of the best monitor you can get for your MacBook or MacBook Airs if you're looking for a companion monitor. So last but not the least is the mouse pad. I almost forgot. Uh, I actually don't know the name of this mouse pad. This is one of the generic ones because I just really needed a mouse pad and I just searched mouse pad and then search for the one that I like and then boom, I got this. I initially didn't have this type of mouse pad. I had the ones where it covered almost half of the table and that thing is really hard to maintain and clean. So I downsized. This is basically, that was an extra, extra triple XL. I think this is a double XL. And for a 60% keyboard, 65% keyboard, you get a mouse pad for your keyboard and your mouse, which is really slick to look at in my opinion. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please like this video as well. And I will see you guys on the next one.